All right. That's right. We're live. Well, we're not. When you're watching this, we're not actually live. It's, it's an upload. But we, I'm doing it during a live stream. Every Wednesday, every Saturday, we go live. Allegedly. Uh, so in this video, we're going to be talking about Gabra Mate and his uh, statements about anti-vaxxers. But before we get started, don't forget to share, support, hopefully donate to Devon's Journey to Recovery, the Helping Victims of AFRICOM, to Cohen Daly, the Australian boy. Also, help out some content creators, Stevie, a.k.a. Redneck Economics, also Sleepy J, buy him a coffee, and the snail from Chicago, who wears heels too, Ali Alexandra, <laughs> Queen of Miami. All links, all links are in the description box. All right. Ooh. Read title first. All right, you can see that. Wonderful. As you can see, there's a. We're about to watch a fight later tonight. See the little poster in the background. Let me show you. Let me show you. It's Phil Davis. You know, Yoel Romero. There it is. We're we're watching that. That's right. We're actually advertising it more than Bellator did. Wonderful. They made it to Wikipedia. All right. So, the title of the article is Anti-Vaccine Protests Are Fueled by Distrust, Unresolved Trauma, Addictions Expert Says. Dr. Gabriel Mate. Daddy, Big Daddy of Aaron Mate. All right, so let's, lead, let's, let's read some of this. Uh, I should probably just start here. No offense to that guy. I'm trying to capture something. Addiction specialist Gabor Mate says, "What's behind anti-vaccine ideologies?" And similarly, and similarly, I believe I said that. Climate change denial. Are people who feel alone, disconnected, and less resilient than others? Whoa. That is a hefty statement from a very far away distance. And usually you'll, <clears throat> that statement sounds familiar to you and, you, and you've uh, watched me before. I say that quite a bit. There's a reason why I say that, why I say from a far away distance. It's like I'm not like interpersonal or whatever the fuck, right? I'm sure he's not asking every person who's questioning them. It says anti-vaccine, but let's be real. He seems like he's putting a whole bunch of people under one umbrella of anti-vaccine as opposed to, you know, a little more nuance to it. People who are just questioning this particular vaccine or people who question vaccines in period in general. Then what would he say about RFK? That'd be interesting. Well, you have daddy issues. Like, oh, fuck. So here's the direct quote. I believe, I believe that the sources of that rage and fear and distrust, actual trauma, says Mate. Trauma has many different manifestations. Addiction is one of them. That's what he says about a lot of stuff, which I, you know, I respect. And also, let's be real, to add the, you know, because I don't want to do, I don't want to, uh, you know, do to him what he might be doing to others. So I want to say that, okay, maybe he's not, maybe he's only talking about a particular type of people who are straight up like, fuck yeah, like, <laughs> it's controlled by the reptilians, whatever the fuck. Even then, you still got to judge them into Maybe he could be, maybe that's the idea, idea he has in mind. Granted, I don't know if it's this article or him personally. Like, eh, that should probably be cleared up, right? It says, right, CBC? Isn't that uh, like Canada's mainstream, basically? Or a part of Canada's mainstream? I would hope that uh, he either looked into it or he found out about this article and maybe he has a more nuanced answer. Or maybe someone will ask him. Anyways, 
continuing on, Mate, 77, is a best-selling author, retired physician, and Order of Canada recipient who has spent more than a decade working with people who have addictions in Vancouver's downtown east side. Downtown, it's downtown and east side. Weird. He says, Aldernick's ideologies, as well as others in the anti-vaccine movement, are rooted in childhood. The more I read, I'm like, huh, did they take this guy out of... Because the article, are, are they're the ones that are adding the, he says, Aldernick's ideology. Like, was he talking about him in particular? Or, does he, or, or is the article saying, oh, if you believe in these ideas, you're, Mate's talking about you. But eh, let's continue. We're looking at a lot of traumatized people who are finding a political outlet for their mistrust and anger. It's nothing to do with the issue itself. It has to do with the issue acting as a flashpoint for their own unresolved traumatic imprints, he said. Uh, to be real with you, in some cases, it could be quite possible. In some cases. Uh, the most, the most of what I've seen... Uh, doesn't quite fit into that category as far as people that are, because they're in the, they're in the people I've talked to, they're in the, the category of questioning as opposed to saying, this is this, this is, you know, Bill Gates doing this thing exactly. More of questioning things around it. Uh, let's read on. Uh, and if he's talking about, if he's putting the people that I've talked to, if he put, if he's putting them in that category, this is dark. Uh, let's continue. Maybe we'll find out. To wit, a massive and misleading rise in the anti-vaccination movement brought on by Charlemagne the God, a conspiracy theorist and U.S. radio host who claimed governments were putting microchips in the COVID-19 vaccine to track people's movements. They, this, is, this makes me think, like, was this guy taken out of context? Is that possible? For the fact that, like, they put fucking Charlemagne the God in here as he's a conspiracy theorist and U.S. radio host. <laughs> like, they're lying to you, Canada. Holy shit. It's so weird watching that from the other side. Usually it's like someone who's foreign that we don't know about. Yeah, this guy is a neo-Nazi, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> well, it's like someone we know about as like a celebrity in America. It's like nothing, like like a like comedy, and sometimes serious topics. Has asked better questions to political candidates than our fucking news, for sure. Dude, put them all on Power 105. Hold the, the primaries there. <laughs> he seems like a guy that would ask that. Even if he is just, if, he, if he's in it for money, like, he would still ask that, like, oh, that's good money. Probably the guy who asked that question. Uh, all right. But this... But that sense of belonging within a group of people who support conspiracy beliefs brings temporary pleasure and a sense of power to vulnerable, vulnerable people, things Mate says can be addictive. I agree. But once again, context. I'll give you more of my personal. Uh, he says it's not an easy path for people who don't support the views of family, friends, and colleagues opposed to public health orders. That can lead to contempt and judgment within relationship. All right, this is his quote. The only thing you can do is hold your ground, state your case, set your boundaries, do all that with compassion for the other person. If it's within them to change, they'll change, Mate said. The rest is quotes from this guy. Yeah, that's it. Starting to question that. Mate actually, who's he, who exactly is he talking about? That's making me question that. 
anti-vaccine, Dr. Abramanti says, vaccine, theology, like-minded people feel part of a group. For some people, yeah. <laughs> That's no joke. I say that all the time. What do you think team playing is? What do you think fanboying and fangirling is? Why do you think I watch like a Tim Pool? We'll be like, who the fuck watches this shit? Not funny. It, the information's off. How how he puts the information is off. It, like, the guests are fucking dweebs too. Tend tend to be twe- uh, dweebs. Uh, so like where? <laughs> you're, it's like you're not getting anything out of this. But then you start looking into the comment section. If they're real people, yeah, like his live chat uh, comments. If these are real people, you can see like a camaraderie around. Like they're not even, they don't even care about the topics in, that the, this guy's talking about. Straight up. They're less engaged than like fucking gaming fucking chats that are like all over the fucking place. Actually, they're kind of attentive. But they're they're a lot less engaged in the actual topic or anything like that. There's no one commenting about the fucking topic there that's being talked about. If you do see comments, it's like one or two words here or there. So it's like, oh, are you guys here to be like, you show up and you're like, hey, Brad. Hey, Johnny. <laughs> hey, is, that why, is that why they're here? Is it the the virtual barbecue instead of uh, like oh we're serious thinkers? This guy's talking about like shit that could destroy the world or whatever the fuck. So for sure, things like that happen. In my opinion, maybe they're not. Maybe they're all for real. That's their real opinions are just two or three words. <laughs> Uh, and then, I uh, cannot. What like who exactly is Mate talking about? Do I need to look this up? I'm gonna look this up. This stuff, this stuff you should do before you make videos. Always, always research for it. Granted, I do like, I do like walking into certain things blind, kinda. Pause. Because uh. You know, the the thing that I talk about the most, it, it's kind of something you could just see within any topic. So, like, if I hear an idea, I can fucking riff off the idea. And if I, five minutes later, I find out, like, oh, no, Monte never said any of this. Like, oh, okay. But those ideas stick. I just don't attribute them to Monte. Simple enough. Always leave room for the I don't know. It'd be better if you actually made a video. That, I don't know, man. That smelled like someone using another person's work. And then asking him, well, what do you think about the, uh, whatever, the flat earthers, grab your guns, we're going to shoot everyone up for taking the vaccine. Well, it seems like they want some sort of camaraderie. It's all... Well, those were not bad ideas if he's talking about, like, if he's trying to diagnose that particular thing as opposed to... No, it's not great, but at the same time, he can't say, okay, you're going to say, you're going to quote me on here, quote me here, quote me here, as opposed to... Well, yeah, that's what I meant. Like, was this guy taken out of... Adults are more important.
don't really see anything. I would have to look up more about it. But, all right. I don't know exactly you know, his context for this. I'll go on my context about that. Is that a yawn or? <laughs> so here's a couple of things I recognize. In my opinion, uh, I know that uh, you're putting a lot of people see it, like the reactions I saw to this. People are putting themselves in the category of what of who Gabra Mate is talking about, which could definitely be the case. Now, there is no surprise of stupidity <laughs> in the world for me. There's no surprise of it. Uh but at the same time, if I had to guess, there's going to be some people that are actually falling into the categories he's talking about. Even if, he me even if he's doing something stupid as like blanket statements for an entire group, I bet there's some people like that. And it's the camaraderie to where it's like deep down, like virus or not, I don't give a fuck about the virus. I'm <laughs> here, to, here to go crazy. Or have something to talk about, or whatever. There's, we're interesting things, right? And I don't know. I would hope, it seems doubtful, but I would hope that everyone does self analytical, the self trying to understand who you are, all that, go through the whole fucking rabbit hole. Do it. Now there's no room for doubt. There's no room for doubt. Right? It's like, oh, what if I saw, what if I joined this group because I saw this cute girl there? There's no doubt. No more doubt about that. Skip that part. <laughs> right? Because you did it to yourself already. You already asked yourself these questions. And then when you have a quote-unquote expert like Gabor Mate saying something about a group that you belong to or a group you're within or whatever, oh, his words do not hold up. In fact, he should run from. <laughs> he should run from us. Now you you hope you would hope that you're around like you know, other people who've done the existential work. Uh, at the same time, like this is kind of the it's it's kind of a double edged sword, if you will, the the good and bad of it. I know I'm talking slow, but uh, I think this is super duper important. See, I have questions. I have plenty of questions about vaccine, the healthcare system, doctors. I have questions about everything. But I, I didn't read this article and was like, why are you saying this about me, man? Like, I'm not even thinking that a little bit. You can't say this about me. That'd be you lying. You're saying it about me. Uh, and that kind of, uh, is, I don't want to call it armor because it's not like a, some sort of I need protection thing. But it's kind of like you're armed with, you know, not a, not a hot knife, but like a fucking samurai sword that's indestructible and it's on fire at the same time. At the at the same time, and some asshole throws butter at it. I get melted before it even reached me, bro. Fuck. Make you clean my shoes. You can fucking butter on it and shit. <laughs> that is. The woo-woo sense of a 
I don't know. I think that's the real deepest sense of a quote unquote warrior or fighter or hero or anything like that. These things are actually achievable in your actual life. But I don't know. Everyone like brushes it off to fantasy. Kind of like what's happening with, with like religion, right? People used to take it like really, really seriously and they went over the top with it. And then like really over the top. And then, uh, People are swinging back the other direction, but they're leaving their imaginations behind <laughs> for the sake of material thing. Like, they say we're contemplating our navel. They're literally contemplating their body parts. <laughs> my body, my facts. Give me my facts. Oh, wait, was it? No mask. Oh, wait. Yes, mask, pro vax. Because it rhymes. <laughs> All right, I guess that's it for me. I just fucking rambled through that. <clears throat> just throwing some ideas out there. Something encouraging. It's not even on purpose. It's what I actually think. I'll probably be talking about it during the fucking fights and everything. And that's very interesting. Yeah. Kind of the, like a disappearing of, existentialism even the ones who claim existentialism like claim they want to partake in existentialism seriously from fucking self-help to whatever new agey stuff even that stuff's turning into learn the secrets here so you can get that Mercedes Benz over there like what? This what it just turned into. But, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like. I always make sure I delay, ramble, that the video ends up being like 20 minutes long, even though that hurts me in the algorithm. I don't know why. I'm like, huh. <laughs> yeah, so don't forget to subscribe if you like. Comment, agree, disagree. You're doing it, aren't you? I saw Beanie, I'm like, ah, oh, okay. Ah, oh, gotcha. Uh, don't forget to comment. Agree, disagree, tell me what you think. Is, uh, I don't know. What do you think about Gabor Mate? Do you really think he says this? said this? If you find it, please let me know. If you, just, let's take it like he did say it. Like, what would your response be to him? How do you tell him, like, no, you're wrong. He's going to have all the medals and plaques and all that shit in the world to show you. But I, I don't think he would do that, but I'm saying people would lean on his side in regards to credibility. Just saying. Uh, what do you do if someone assesses you like that? Pause. Also, don't forget to share, support, hopefully donate to all the links, all of them, all across the land of Emerald City. Please click on the links, share them, donate to them. Do it now. With all that said, give this video a thumbs down.